Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to quickly give your students some feedback, view their work, and go paperless. So you don't have to drag those bags of papers home to grade on the couch. You can do everything digitally. Um, you can't lose a paper, and it's beautiful. So let me show you how to be a paperless grader. You'll be in your Canvas course, and so you have your module, you have your assignments. All you have to do is pick an assignment that you would like to grade. So I'm going to say, I will choose this assignment right here click on the assignment. Once you have clicked on the assignment, you'll see, depending on how big your browser window is, if you have a big screen, the speed grader link will be over here on the right, but if you don't see it on the right, then the speed grader link will be down here at the bottom. So it's either on the right or at the bottom, but you'll click on the speed grader link, that'll open a new tab, and then you'll have this um, setup where you can see up here in the top, you have this drop down. You can see your students' names. I have my students' names hidden if you would like to do that, um, but their names will typically show up. And you can see the grayed out students do not have a submission. The bold students have a submission. The orange circle means you have not graded that submission yet. The green, if it was a green circle, that would mean that you have already assigned a grade. So you click on your student, and then you have um, a couple of different quick ways to give feedback. The easiest way to give feedback is to just give them a numerical grade. Now they have been graded on that assignment. If you want to give further further feedback, um, besides numerical, you could add a comment here. You could say, you know, needs more detail. If you would rather, um, instead of typing, you could record your voice saying that. So you could scream at them, I guess. You could record a video of your face. if. You, they need to see your face when you get the comment. I don't know, but um, make sure that you hit submit to save that um, comment. Now, um, numerical, kind of a verbal comment. You can also be have a more specific comment. I can see their work right over here. My favorite way is this highlighter. Now, all these are different ways that you can kind of draw on the document. My favorite way is the highlighter. If you click the highlighter, then you could highlight some portion, click and drag, of their work. Then with this little button here, if you click that button, you can leave a comment that says, you know, great point or whatnot. So you can go through and leave them very specific pinpointed comments in addition to your general comment and your numeric feedback. All of these other buttons are other ways for you to mark up the document, but that is the basics of leaving your students feedback. Now, when you are ready to move to the next student, you can just notice this has changed to a green check mark, but in this drop down, I know this one is graded. I can move to the next student, and it's just like shuffling through papers, except for you can't lose them, you don't have to carry them home, they're all right here digitally, and you can give them all sorts of feedback right there in one place. I hope you enjoy it.